everyone and welcome to the very first episode of one minute singing tips by the singing technique and today i want to talk to you about something that a lot of singers struggle with which is how to not get sore while singing okay there's actually only one thing that you have to pay attention to which is going to change the game of your singing what you want to do is you want to avoid extra airflow while you create the note and what i mean is the following this is wrong Ooh. if you hear this beside the note, it's definitely wrong and it's gonna damage your voice. So you wanna always concentrate on keeping your vocal cords as tight as you can. This is the trick. And it's gonna sound like this. Ooh, compared to ooh, okay? Tricks to achieve it go like this. Uh, make it feel as tight as you can. And you're gonna achieve a clear note that you can belt out and you sound like a professional singer. And remember, you can always visit the link in the description to learn more about singing. That's it, everyone! Much love to you! Happy singing and rest now! Boom! What's up, everyone? Welcome to the second episode of One Minute Singing Tips by The Singing Technique. And today I want to talk to you about something that's constantly underestimated by the most singers. Posture. Not only is the stance important to clear all of your voice and make your vocal cords function at its best, you have to know that your posture has an immediate effect on your audience. Having a good posture emanates emotional stability. Which in return makes people feel like they're drawn to you. In my teaching technique, I combine two major things. One, the Alexander stand. And secondly, it's the stance that comes from a martial art called Wing Chun. I want to go like this. Push in your hips like something's pulling on the end of your spine. Second, you want to stretch this area towards there, like that. If you feel that the weight of your body shifts from the front of your arms to the back of your arms, you're doing it the right way. So I want to encourage everybody to test the following. If you perform or if you're in public transportation or wherever people are around you, change to the right posture. And I want you to pay attention to how the audience react, how you personally feel, and mostly how your voice changes. That's it everyone, as always you can check out the link in the bio for more information about singing, tell the best out, peace! What's up everyone and welcome to the third episode of One Minute Singing Tips by The Singing Technique. Today, another thing that's totally underestimated by singers. The right breathing technique and what it can do for you. What you have to know, there's several breathing techniques depending on what tone and what level of performance you want to achieve with your voice. Which style are you singing? Opera, musical, soul pop, R&B? And what occasion? Are you performing? Are you recording? Are you doing public speaking? Today we're going to concentrate on the most common one for pop, soul, R&B. And we're talking about the latissimo slash diaphragm breathing technique. First of all, you want to have the right posture as seen in episode 2. You want to create your reference point, which I call folded latissimus touch. As soon as you have that, you want to create this. Here we're basically stealing the breathing technique that we use on a daily basis for speaking. Very short breaths for a lot of air supply. So try the following and see for yourself. As described in episode 1 and 2, vocal cords tight, fix your posture, then apply the latissimus breathing, sing a note and try to hold it as long as you can. Compare the seconds for before and after. That's it everyone, as always, much love to you, happy singing, have a blessed now, bye! Hi and welcome everyone to the fourth episode of One Minute Singing Tips by The Singing Technique. Today I'm going to show you how to make the difference between the chest, neck, head and overhead voice. First of all, I want you to touch your chest and create the lowest note that you can. Bah. And slowly move your hand up and down and detect the vibration. Once you feel the vibration, you know, bah, this is your chest voice. Leave your hand there and slowly move up to a higher note. You're going to feel the vibration leaving your chest and going to the neck. Then do the same thing. Move slowly up to a higher note. And you're going to feel the vibration leaving from your neck to somewhere in your head. This is where the magic starts and why the technique is so amazing. Although with your hand you can't feel the vibration anymore, you got to force the note to go into the middle of the back of your head. Then you want to move to your overhead voice. To create this, you basically have to concentrate to move the vibration in a circular motion under your neck to the front again. It sounds like this. That's it guys, this is how you can feel the difference by feeling the vibrations. I encourage everyone to try that. But follow the instructions from the first three videos so you don't damage your voice. I'll check the link in the description for more info about the singing technique. That's it everyone, happy singing, stay focused, have a blessed time. Welcome everyone to the fifth episode of One Minute Singing Tips by the singing technique. Today, why it's important to know that every singer is different and why a singer needs custom designed classes slash training. Since the vocal cords are a muscle and singing belongs to extreme sports, it always depends on what the exact case scenario is that the student goes through. Having a vocal coach slash voice teacher is equal to having a personal trainer when doing extreme sports like soccer or weightlifting. For example, I've had students that just wanted to learn singing real quick for an upcoming wedding. On the other side, I have students that are singing every day and have to be at their best with their voices. Then, it also always depends on what the problem zone is. I've had students with the most beautiful voices but a very bad musical ear. Students with an amazing musical ear but very weak voices. I've had students that didn't even want to have clear voices and sing high notes. And the last thing you have to know is that the biggest problems that all singers face is the psychological problem. The fear of if it comes across what they need, if they are good enough, stage fright, all sorts of stuff that we all go through, especially as artists, where you have to do the psychological training. Like NLP techniques, EFT, and all sorts of fear and trauma eliminating techniques. And remember, you can always check the link in the bio for more info about singing. Much love to you, stay focused, happy singing, have a blessed now, bye!